Next um, department, I, um, very interesting department. They help out in the fish farm here in, in, in NMC Crees. Uh, I call them the fish kids. Uh, I would like to call out Mike Ogo to introduce them to you guys. All right, Noel, thank you. Uh, what do you call that? No, I'm fortunate to have this uh, three kids you know, with me this summer. Uh, you know, and also like to mention that, you know, actually one of the kids that uh, is with the aquaculture program is uh, the brother of Eloise Lopo, who I had, uh, you know, uh, a, a couple of years ago. So without any further ado, I would like to give the uh, floor to my students to show what they did over the uh, over this summer. and I'm an up up upcoming senior at Saipan Southern High School. Good morning, I'm Prince Peter from Marana's High School, an upcoming junior. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jadwin Lothok. I am an upcoming junior representing Gagmarna. And we're going to give you a presentation on what we learned and our, what we experienced during our time here at the Aquaponics Department and NMC Crees. So first of all, what is aquaponics? Well, basically, it's the combination of aquaculture, which is the raising of fish for food, and hydroponics, which is growing plants in a soilless environment. Together, they grow plants and fish in one integrated system. The fish waste provides an organic food source for the growing plants, and the plants provide a natural filter for the water the fish live in. Aquaponics offers many advantages. First of all, it can be grown anywhere and everywhere in the world because, because it's a technique that doesn't require soil, the plants and fish can be grown even on land that is considered unfertile. Secondly, it's also cheaper for your wallet because once you get the system up and running, it's, it generates a greater variety of food than conventional gardening can. Thirdly, it uses less water because it only uses one tenth of the water you use when you, use, when you do soil-based gardening and even less water, water than with hydroponic. Next, it also uses less energy power. For this aquaponic system, you don't really need to do much because it's self-sustainable. Mostly, you just put, you input the food and that's it. It's also faster and produces more. It produces about eight times more organic produce than, organic gar than gardening because it allows vegetables to grow much faster with greater density without depleting the nutrients. Within our red lab, we have different aquaponic systems. As you can see on the screen, we have a general basic of how an aquaponic system should be set up. In this case, a similar system is being used to Vazola as an acting filter to cleanse recirculating water. And here, this is a closed system mariculture where we raise tilapia for educational research purposes. Here are some of the types of fishes we grow. Um, in the middle is the great tilapia, which is also called the Oreochromis myeloticus. On the bottom left is the red tilapia, which is actually a hybrid of the Oreochromis myeloticus and Mozambicus. On the bottom right, you see is the white tilapia, which is another hybrid of the Oreochromis myeloticus and Aureus. Here are the biohazard bio security measures that we do. In our wet lab, we offer, we do precautionary measures to make sure that no one, that like no bacteria gets into our wet lab. The first is the foot dip. We do, we do this to make sure that no unwanted bacteria comes from via footwear into our facility. The next is the tire bath, which cleanses any tires of the vehicles that come into the gates. We also have a visitor sign-in sheet that we use to record anyone who enters beyond the gate. And we also, you always have to sanitize your hands before you do anything else. And we also sanitize the net before and after use in order to protect the marine life. At the Wella facility, we feed shrimp, barramundi, and tilapia. Although there are different aquatic species, they all have the same feed called tilapia grower. We feed them twice a day, in the morning between 8 to 9 a.m. and 
just before we lock up and leave between 3 to 4 p.m. Different culture tanks have different measurements of the feet. The top left photo, the shrimp tank, and the bottom right, the tilapia tank, we give those six handfuls, approximately 0.4 pounds or 6.4 ounces. The bottom left and the top right photos are of the largest tilapia tank in the wet lab. We give it two pounds or 32 ounces. The Baramundi tank located right next to the tilapia tank is given one pound or 16 ounces. For reproduction purposes, we transferred fish from tilapia tanks four, six, and seven to nursery tanks two, three, and four. Four families of tilapia were transferred to each nursery tank. NT2 now contains gray tilapia, NT3 red tilapia, and NT4 white tilapia. We got the opportunity to experience harvesting shrimps. We drained the water from the shrimp tank, ensuring the shrimps won't be drained along with the water. Next, we counted the shrimps. Afterwards, we bagged and weighed them where they were packaged and sold off to Fiesta Resort. For water quality, we always conducted before feeding the aquatic species due to the shifting levels of ammonia. We use the refractometer to measure salinity, while the dissolved oxygen and temperature meter measures the oxygen and temperature of the water. Lastly, we use the pH meter to measure the water's acidity level. Throughout the process, we use a chart to record the data we discovered from each instrument. Every morning, we open up the aquaculture well lab facility. We check the water level and air bubbles of each culture tank. When the water level gets too low, we fill them back up again. We increase or decrease the air pressure depending on the amount of oxygen the fishes need. Another duty we have every day is draining out the closed system agriculture filtrations. We do this to reduce ammonia and prevent its buildup in the filters. In addition to our daily duties, we assist our, super, our supervisor, Rosh Faimau, and the work study guys who have worked in the facility before us. DJ Kapat and Wanik will maintain the facility and on field work, on, and on field work with local tilapia and shrimp farmers. Now, within this internship program, we interns were Graciously lucky that we had the opportunity to travel with Mr. Michael Ogo and the crew as he was visiting clients' residentials in order to fix aquaponic systems that they've made themselves. Now, as you see on the screen, one of those clients, Mr. Vic Sapeta, had a barrelponic just out on his yard. Now, if you're wondering what a barrelponic is, a barrelponic is a type of aquaponics that involves cutting open a couple of large plastic barrels, a small water pump, and PCB pipes to cycle water from a fish tank to several soilless growing beds. Now the water not used by the plants then drinks back to the fish tank, creating a closed loop system. Now think of this as an eco-friendly aquarium, just without the glass. Now another client that we visited was Mr. James Matsumoto. Now, during our internship, we lend a hand with Mr. James Matsumoto as he was installing and fixing a pump, which enables us to grow a zoolite for him. That way, it can filter out any waste that is within his system. We take joy in serving technical hands to our clients, but we also take pride in being part of the farmers of the CNMI as they put their share onto the agricultural market business. Besides the clients, we also have visitors who come into the wet lab facility seeking amusement and knowledge of how aquaponic systems are being set up. One particular individual who happened to have the time to flew out of the Oceanic Institute of Hawaii was named Dr. Chad. Now, Dr. Chad was an expertise of consultants for the upcoming rabbit fish project that the NMC Cree's aquaponics department will be host, holding in a couple of weeks. At this time, I want to give special thanks to the NMC Cree's dean, Mr. Ross Manglonia, and I want to also give a special thanks to uh, our Mr. Michael Ogo and Rush Farmer.
Ira. <laughs> Cause I'm all about him, 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 him. And he's all about me, 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 me. And we don't give a dang, 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 dang about no.